hello there it's good to have you back on our youtube channel if you are not subscribed yet please do so now don't forget to turn on the notification bell because it allows you get instant alerts when a new video is uploaded also be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it If you are interested in learning more about how to identify and beat the bookworm in order to keep your books and collections safe, you are in the right place. A bookworm is any small worm in the larva stage that likes to live in and eat books. If you love your books more than the worms do, then keep watching this video. We will share 5 ways to keep your books and prevent them from degradation. The first point. Keep your books dry and clean. When sorting out books that would be kept on the bookshelf, make sure they are all new or relatively clean. Because books that have dirt on it would attract insects. Second point, take them off the bookshelf often to disturb the dust and stop the insects from nesting. The third point, use good bookshelves. Use bookshelves made from metal or sealed wood because unsealed woods releases damaging acidic vapors into the environment and can accelerate the deterioration of books. Also make sure the bookshelves are deep enough for your books to prevent them from hanging. The fourth point, pack books properly. If you have books you are keeping in storage boxes rather than on bookshelves, make sure you are using the right storage boxes that won't damage the books. Cardboard boxes should be acid free, although pets can easily eat through cardboard. Make sure to keep this in mind. Certain plastics like polyester are also safe for books. Packing the books flat with the largest ones on the bottom or packing them with the spine down can also be adopted. An extra tip from Dominion Publishing House is that you always allow at least 4 inches of space between the boxes and the walls or floors. Try to lift the boxes up on wooden pallets. Fifth point is that you store away from direct sunlight. Books need to be stored away from direct sunlight as the rays from the sun would fade book covers and damage paper pages, making them turn yellow over time. Thank you so much for watching we hope to get your feedback soon if you have not subscribed yet what are you waiting for please click that red button right now